The indoor climate is something that I take very seriously, both in terms of health and just general comfort. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite and most used climate sensors and devices that I use in my smart home. First off are these temperature and humidity sensors from Acara. These are the T1 models and they communicate over Zigbee. They also have a built-in pressure sensor, which is really great for weather forecasting. The pros of these is that they are really small, which makes them easy to blend into your home. One of the downsides is that they do still run on Zigbee and not matter over thread or matter over Wi-Fi. And second off are the SwitchBot Meter Pro CO2 versions. These sensors also have a temperature and humidity sensor built in but they also measure the co2 concentration in the air and this is an important parameter if you want to monitor the indoor air quality since a co2 level that is too high can lead to headaches and sleeping worse at night the pros of these are obviously that they report a lot of different climate statistics and that you can glance at the sensor to see the current levels on the other hand the downsides of these are that they do communicate via bluetooth if you run home assistant these connects via a bluetooth proxy with no problem and have been running great in my home for the last year or so. But if you do run something like Homey or HomeKit or SmartThings, you do need a SwitchBot hub such as the Hub 2 or the Hub 3 to connect these sensors to and then expose them via matter to those platforms. Thirdly, I have my Tato X thermostats. Now these are some of the most expensive smart home thermostats that you can get on the market, but they do run matter over thread which means that you can connect them to just about any smart home platform that you can think of. Some obvious downsides of these are obviously their price, but also the subscription model that Tato has introduced over the last few months. If you have any climate sensors or devices or tips and tricks for the smart home that you think is worth sharing, I will gladly listen to them.